Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. This is a special Sunday edition. I've just got off the phone with somebody uh, who works in the boxing industry, whose relative is one of the most powerful people in boxing in Europe. And uh, I've just been told that Eddie Hearn and all the shenanigans with the the drug test and not telling Rivers well they could be facing criminal proceedings for negligence duty of care uh, what that will entail is I've been told they'll be getting Eddie Hearn's phone so he can delete all his messages all he wants they'll get his phone they'll see who he's told now if he's told Guy and Adam Smith, oh, Dillian's failed the test, what do we do, what do we do? Whoever is told, if they know, they're involved. So if he's wrong, Mr Bean, they better get a jail cell ready for him, aren't they? Because it's negligence on a massive, massive scale. What if the punches that Dillian White hit Rivers with start to take effect? In the next few months we don't know do we but i do know that uh yvonne michelle has said that they've been in touch with all the drug agencies and the border control of england and they have not categorically deny failure test they have not failed a drug test spencer fearon going around saying that they have failed a drug test, uh, Rivers. Now that video has been took off IFL TV, I've just been told. Uh, it's all a bit of a mess. It's Sue and Counter Sue and Bluff and Counter Bluff and smoke screen and the wiping smoke screens. It's a mess. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is this. We've seen reports in newspapers that Dillian White has failed a drug test. Why can't somebody come out and speak the truth? If Dillian's not failed a drug test, I hope he sues everybody. I hope he sues everybody. Because that kid, he, 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 he's basically Dillian White. He's in the middle of all this and he's took bad, bad advice. I don't believe Dillian White's a cheat. When he got his two year ban before, it was for an over the counter substance. It wasn't something that he bought on the street. So I think he had bad luck then. He probably didn't have as many lawyers as he's got today dealing with the previous charge. Uh, but what I do think is that Eddie Earn thinks he can slink out of this, don't you, Eddie? Pass the book onto the British Boxing Board of Control. Pass the book and uh, the, the drug agencies and just slink away Sky are thinking they can slink away from it as well are you telling me Adam Smith didn't know about this? come on Adam Smith didn't know Dillian White failed a drug test if Eddie Hearns texted him on his phone he is banging trouble banging trouble because these people now th this is going to be one of the biggest lawsuits you're ever going to see it's the first of its kind in boxing and it's not getting no news time it's not getting any news time at all at all not getting any news time at all so not not it, it, it's craziness it's craziness but eddie's banging trouble it's a shame but What's Eddie's going to be like in jail? Can he cope in jail? Will he get a job as a cleaner so he can phone their last all time at phone box? I don't know. I don't care. I've served over 10 years at Nick myself over a 12 year period. I don't give a fuck. All I want to see is somebody come out and give me some fucking answers to this mess. Do you know what I mean? Is Dillian White innocent? Is he guilty? Well, it's all pointing to him being guilty, isn't it? But we don't know, do we? That it's all shrouded in mystery. 
You know what I mean? They're coming out saying, well, I've heard that Rivers has failed the test. Rivers haven't failed the fucking test. Eddie's saying that. Spencer Fearon saying that. It's all a load of crap. Spencer Fearon saying that Eddie is uh, moralistically, whatever that word is, I don't know. He got that off Don King, I think. Moralistically wrong not to tell Rivers. Yeah, I agree with that, but why has that video been took down on IFL? Why is that? Why is that? I don't know, but it's not looking good, is it? But criminal charges for negligence and duty of care. Could Adam Smith be involved? Could Barney Francis? They're all knee deep in it. Now, only once before has a, a board meeting been called as an emergency on the day of a, of a, of a fight, and that was Dillian White and Chisora, when they were flipping tables and rolling around in Sky Studio, they had a meeting, didn't they? And they said basically any more and there's not going to be a fight. Now this meeting was a little bit different, wasn't it? Because it looked like the fight was off. But Eddie Hearn, who was saying he wasn't even at the meeting, well he wasn't, was he? But he was already talking behind the scenes with his old man, Bazza, a.k.a. Whiskey Nose, they were already back behind the scenes, weren't they? And uh, telling the British Boxing Board of Control, Charlie Giles and Robert Smith, that basically, if this fight doesn't go ahead, and that B sample comes back negative, it's going to be the biggest lawsuit ever. And the British Boxing Board of Control shit their pants. Shit their pants. They filled their nappy with poop. That's what they did. They thought, oh my god, we're going to lose our home at Cardiff, like we lost the one in London over the Michael Watson affair. And let's not forget, back in the day, that show was Barry Hearn's show. When Michael Watson got hurt, and Barry Hearn didn't get sued, did he? No, 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 it was the board that got sued. And yet again, the board are going to get sued again. A match room could be scot-free away, couldn't they? Having it away on the toes, on the lamb. Or could they? Could they be banging trouble? Well, we don't know, do we? But I'm hearing that criminal charges could be coming down on Eddie Hearn. So, it's not looking good, is it, for Eddie? It's not looking good at all. But, like I've just said to you, go on Google... Google what I've just said there. Michael Watson. He sued the board, didn't he? From when he got injured on a Barry Hearn show. Frank Warren ended up giving £70,000 as a gift to the board to help them defend themselves. That's true. And what happened down the line then? What happened? What happened? When Chris Eubank got beat. Chris Eubank got beat, didn't he, by Collins twice. What happened? Barry Hearn ran for the hills, he disappeared from boxing for years. Didn't want to know. Now, and that will happen again, but I can assure you, sure as eggs are eggs, they're trying to palm it off on the board. I mean, how stupid are the board, really, to put Dillian White in a fight when he's failed a drug test? It's a mess, isn't it? The board are now looking for a way out. They're flapping. Now, I know somebody who's really close to me. I'm not going to say his name. He's already spoke to one of board members, and he says they are shitting their pants and saying, Hearn again! Hearn again! Hearn gate! Oh, my God. The pantomime continues, doesn't it, hey, boys and girls? The pantomime continues, but it's not looking good, is it, for Eduardo, for Matchroom, for the Border Control, and Dillian White, where's it going to, where's all this going to leave Dillian White? Is Dillian White going to have a lawsuit? Well, he's been cleared to fight, hasn't he? So he's in the clear. Eddie Hearn, he thinks he's in the clear because the board have cleared it to fight. Just like the Michael Watson incident where the apparatus to get Watson to jail wasn't done correctly. That was the board's fault, not Barry Hearn's fault. He's just a promoter. They're going to play, well, we're just a promoter, that card, aren't they? But if Eddie Hearns text anybody or rung anybody at Sky after he's found out about that drug test, because he'll have found out on his phone, these 
people who do criminal investigations, they'll get Eddie Hearn's phone, won't they? And they'll nail him that way. Just like Frank Warren uh, proved when he, when he nailed that Alex Morrison, he had, uh, didn't he have phone records and things like that. A bit like Simon Jordan with the Ian Dowie affair at Crystal Palace. Well, that's what Eddie's got to look forward to now, but like I said, I'm just keeping you guys informed on what's happening. Uh, there's a lot I can't say, but I'm telling you as much as I can without dropping any names, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's a scandal, isn't it? And I feel sorry for Dillian White, because the, the, the more, more than likely, Dillian White's going to get banned here. He's going to get banned. And he could, I, I very much doubt it, but he could end up, end up forking out for lawyers and his head could be a shed. And I feel sorry for Dillian White because he's from the streets, isn't he? But, you know, if Dillian White's took bad advice, that's down to his team, isn't it? Whoever's giving him that, it, it's down to them, isn't it? You know what I mean? But I do feel sorry for Mark Tibbs in all this because he's gone 10-0 with Dillian and they've done fantastic and I hope that it all blows over and that Dillian White fights again but at the end of the, st end of the day I don't like people who drug cheat and will get away with it now not only has Eddie Hearn got his cake and ate it through pure greed they've put the show on haven't they They've gone to it bored, they've scared them to death and they've put the show on. They've got the pay-per-view, they've not told the public and they've not told Rivers. Now, uh, he's gone in that ring with two loaded guns, and not Dillian White? Did the drugs help Dillian White get up in the ninth round when he got dropped? Why was the referee breaking it up every ten seconds, every time Rivers got stuck into him at the end when Dillian were gassing? We don't know. What about the glove situation? That's a total mess, isn't it? Hey, eh? England is now like Germany, isn't it? It reminds me of when Robin Reed went and fought Sven Ocke in uh, in Germany. It's a total mess, and we need some clarification on all this, don't we? That's what we need, clarification. But there's more videos to follow today and tomorrow. Uh, there's about six videos coming out. There's the. Uh, uh, there's the Dillian White Earn debate. Uh, I've got Terry and Rico ringing in today. There's uh, there's there's the helmets at Mumps to do as well. 31st of July. Uh, what date is it today? 27. We've got all oh, so that won't be done today. That'll be done later on, it we. So there'll be five videos out later on today, and uh, and obviously the matchroom show last night, which were garbage, one it utter garbage. Eddie's guy got bashed up, didn't he? Lost two belts, but it is what it is, isn't it? So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, and if anybody's going to send Eddie anything in when he go, when he ends up in Wormwood Scrubs, make sure it's a cake with a file inside it so he can sort bars to get out. <laughs> Keep on trucking!